Hi everyone! You can really avoid using NVIDIA's InfiniBand when building an AI infrastructure in the, your data center. My name is Dudi Cohen, I'm from DriveNet, and I want to talk about how data centers, public, service provider, enterprise, network infrastructure needs to evolve towards supporting AI workloads. When we're talking about AI workloads, and specifically when we're talking about large GPU clusters used for AI training, we need a network or a networking solution that is very robust, that has no jitter, that has no packet drop, that has low tail latency, because tail latency is the one that is important for that, and that has a quick convergence after any fault in the fabric. Infiniment is one option, but it is not suitable for data centers environment because it is very tricky and complicated to configure. It needs a uh, it needs a very specific skill set and it is not suited for multi tenancy environment. So we go Ethernet, but <clears throat> Ethernet, the plain vanilla version at least, does not step up and does not provide the right performance for AI infrastructure. What you need is a scheduled fabric. You need an Ethernet solution that can handle, avoid, or mitigate congestion in the fabric and provide the right performance, the right level of performance that AI workload need. There are two types of scheduled Ethernet uh, solutions. One is endpoint scheduled, the one in which the NIC or the endpoints are responsible for distribution of the traffic in order to uh, avoid elephant flows and avoid head of buying blockings and get information from telemetry systems over the networking pod that help mitigate congestion. The problem with endpoint scheduling is that A, it is not fully mature. You, we have the ultra ethernet standard that just came out. We have some solutions like the Spectrum X from NVIDIA, which are okay. But other than that, it does not really provide the highest performance networking solution you want in your AI backend fabric. The one ethernet solution that does provide this performance that provides this lossless, no jitter, no packet drop, low latency, fast convergence fabric for your AI workload is a schedule Ethernet fabric. This schedule Ethernet fabric does the load balancing, the perfect load balancing by, by using a cell based fabric from the top of rack to the end of row or the spine switch, which means that any packet in the ingress switch is cut into evenly sized cells and then sprayed across the entire fabric and reassembled at the other end. We use VOQs with grunt based mechanism in order to ensure that there is absolutely no packet loss within the fabric. That means that from any GPU to any GPU, you have a single Ethernet hope, no matter how many GPUs you have, even 32,000 GPUs are all connected to the same switch, even though the switch is distributed across multiple solutions. And another thing that is great about this solution is that it is open. So basically, DriveNet with its Network Cloud AI solution provides this distributed scheduled fabric solution over commercial off-the-shelf white boxes, and you can leverage the best performance for AI backend fabric with a very cost-efficient and flexible supply chain and architecture in which you can choose the right ODM vendor and the right optical vendor. So to conclude, when you build a DC or a data center infrastructure and want to choose the right networking that will enable you to support any AI application, you need to think about performance. You do not have to rush to NVIDIA's InfiniBand because even if it is the default solution for such environment, it is not the best and the most cost efficient solution, but you need to go to Ethernet with a solution that will not make you compromise on performance. And this is the scheduled fabric or the distributed disaggregated chassis available from DriveNet. For more information, just log into our website. Thank you very much for watching.